All right, welcome in, welcome back, all that good stuff. Thanks for stopping by, saying hi, and all that. Uh, think about hitting all them buttons if uh, if you like hanging out with me. Um, I'll do my best. I uh, think I got the volume figured out, and uh, I'll try my best not to sound like Anthony Hopkins, but if that's just what I do, that's just what I do. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this, man. Uh, got some more boat fails. You know, we just uh, there's plenty of those to do. But I'm always open to suggestions. You want to leave a comment or something down in there. Uh, I'm always checking them out. Uh, maybe we'll try your idea next time. Uh, but yeah, thanks for coming and hanging out. Let's get into this. Looks like we're starting off with a nice little fire there. That's always sad. Hopefully it doesn't spread. It's just the one boat. Looks like everybody's trying to move all their stuff. All those boats do look the same, so I wonder if they're like rental boats or something. Hopefully they can get out with those fire extinguishers, but they can't get close enough to get the base of the fire. They're just kind of fanning it right now. Uh, yeah, see, so that's not going to work. They need a nice big water pump or, uh, or somebody needs to get up close and personal with a, a real big one. But yeah, that little hose ain't really gonna do much. That's sad though. But yeah, that's gonna be a total loss. That boat's definitely total. <laughs> Looks like the boat's just going in a circle, so. Yeah. So, there's nobody on the boat, it's just going in circles. Looks like it rode up too high that way, and yep, it's going down now. So it's a good thing he didn't jump on, because if uh, he wasn't able to stop it before it did that, now he'd be in the water with the boat. So. Oh, just him falling out. <laughs> I was like, oh no, is this going to start rolling somewhere? That's still unfortunate. That's got to sting a little. Oh, uh, this one's gonna. Maybe this one will roll. Or it's gonna fling him, he's gonna fall. Oh. <laughs> or do that. That's. It's, uh, it's one way to do it. Not sure what's going on here. Maybe a boat collision? Oh, yep. Ripped right through the sail. That's unfortunate, man. Who's running the ship? <laughs> Who's running the ship? <laughs> yeah. You know, they don't move fast I and may not have can a see each other coming, so. But I have an idea. <laughs> Yep, couldn't hold on to it, keep it straight enough, and uh, just dug right into the side there. Oh, that's no good. Hopefully uh, all the poles stay on board, and uh, he's got his bilge pumps on, he can stay upright. Oh uh, yeah, that's some, that's some crappy mud there. That boy's going to be stuck. That's nice to see. If you can get him out, that'd be cool. You know, helping out the wildlife. I mean, you're going to use, you know, you're going to use their area, so at least you can do is help them out when they need it. Yeah. Get the rope off. Yeah, that boy is super tired. He's probably been stuck for a couple hours trying to get out. Because they don't know any better. They just keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. And finally they just stopped fighting. Uh, I've uh, come across some like pelicans and birds and stuff like that that were all, you know, stuck either in a lure or fishing line or something. And, you know, by the time you find them, they've been trying to get loose for however long before you got there. So, you know, it's it's rough to see, but sometimes you get them help, they rest a little bit, and then they're uh, thankful and on their way. 
Yeah, that's unfortunate. Just from the hole that I can see out of water, that's a fairly large boat. Uh, very good condition. I think it's got to be expensive. Yeah, all you can do is uh, drag it in if it's still floating, but be ready to cut it loose if it goes all the way under, or uh, if you can get those bags, oh, get those air bags and lift it up. Yeah, you know, most people that start riding jet skis for their first time, they don't realize there's no brakes. You can't throw it into reverse that quickly um, and start moving in reverse. So there's literally no brakes and you cannot turn unless you give it throttle. Need throttle to turn these things. Oh, he just kept going until he hit something. <laughs> I mean, that was awesome, but I'm sure that dude's not super happy he hit his boat. Yeah, it looks like they're taking on water. Uh, yeah, because the, the back of the boat is straight up going in and out of the water. And that's funny to me, you know, like, because he, he looks like the oldest guy, right? <laughs> he looks like. Uh, he was the one taking them on, and, uh, that's funny to me, instead of helping the kids get on, he jumps on first. There's still a guy on the top. Oh, okay, okay, he's coming down. <laughs> it's like, is that the captain? Taking that saying very literally? Yeah, some guys, you know, they do that and it's it's not very nice to the rest of the people around you. I mean, if you're going to put it in gear a little bit to hold you up against your thing up there, that's cool. But when you're making it, you know, stirring up the water and making it rock for everybody else around you, that's not cool. Boat's name is Sensation. Watching this shit? So I don't know if he's trying to get into his spot or if he's trying to get out. So I mean, you came in decent, but. Turn your wheel all the way to the right. Give it a little gas forward. That'll swing your back end to the left side there. Then turn your wheel all the way to the left. Put it in reverse. Boom. Right in That's that going to help swing you back the other way. You know, but it depends on if there's wind or current as well. It's going to make it worse. So, but you know, those guys should be able to push off of that boat unless he's driving into it. You know what I'm saying? So if he's driving into that boat. Those guys can't stop it, but usually, you know, if he was to just put it in neutral when he got close, they can throw That's ropes crazy. or grab those pylons, drag it where he needs to go. And now nobody's watching the back. And then, yep, there he goes, trying to go forward. But he could have avoided that other boat all completely, so. Just slow down. Think about it, make calculated decisions. But, uh, that <gasps> oh, they hit a sandbar. <laughs> Flung the guy up the front. Uh, probably did some damage to his prop. Happens a lot. I replace fins on our props, you know, way too much. Just another fire. Oh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Just trying to get a good grip on the fish, man. You know, them things are slippery. And, uh, this just took off. Not sure if he's tied to the dock. It looks like he might be. Or actually they might be in in the midst of a recovery. Because it did look like they had some bags on there to help float. Excuse me, sir. You cannot park there. <laughs> That's not cool. You don't want to go. <laughs> Guy just jumped in. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, with vehicles like that, if you ever find a vehicle that looks, you know, nasty and like it's been underwater for a long time, you never want to go and just fuck around with it. You might, you know, if you go in, you can look inside, make sure that, you know, there's nobody in it. Um, a lot of people go missing in the water in their cars. So, you know, make sure if you do get a close look, make sure there's nothing in it. If you're going to mess with it, make sure it's abandoned. Uh, 
Um, and then call it in on your way out if you can, you know. Who knows how long that it's been since somebody's even known that that vehicle was there. So don't just assume somebody else has already done it or the cops already know about it, you know. And this guy ain't paying attention. Just runs straight into <laughs> a battle border. That's super dangerous, you know. If he would have just kept going or panicked or whatever, you know, that engine spinning is going to go right over. Hurt somebody. But looks like she didn't get hit too hard and she's swimming back to her board, so hopefully she's okay. This is going to be a guy falling out <laughs> instead of stepping out. Yep. <laughs> At least the water's not deep, so, you know, there's that. And then he's going to play it off like nothing happened. That could have been bad. Um, that hit him in the head. Alright, let's go. Another boat sinking. So he's got it tied to something. So this might be like their little anchor that they use to stop wherever they're at. Uh, or it was a no wake buoy. And they didn't put a long enough lead on it. So <laughs> that anchor just took it down to wherever it was going to go. And this guy. Yeah, you got a glove on your other hand, bro. <laughs> and you're going to use your bare okay. hand to dig in his mouth. No, no let, him go, let him go, let him go. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hold okay. Cut that off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's funny. And, uh, yeah, they think it's fun to do crazy stuff like that, you know. But it only takes one, one time. It only takes one mess up. That's the, might be your last, you know, but it only takes one. And this guy, yeah, I mean, <laughs> he just ran it right up on there, left his motor down. He's propped, propped up there. Had to send this one to Bronco's guru. Oh yeah, he got his little, little hook up there, and maybe had a bunch of water in it. Sounds like the bilge pump's still running. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm not sure how how that ended up happening that way. Unless he did it on purpose. I don't know. Unless it was up and forward, and then low tide came, and it was hung up. That might be that might be what happened. Yeah, some of these birds are fearless, man. He's going back to the bird. Oh, he almost had him. That's crazy. Got him. Maybe he's tired or <laughs> he's injured or something. Normally he would just fly away. Let's only get him. Oh, got him that time. Listen, guys, if you come here and rent a boat, and I ask you if you have experience, because we don't rent to people that don't have experience, and I put you on the boat, and you ask me where the f brake pedal is and where the gas pedal is, <laughs> I'm going to throw you right off the f boat. You, you should not be driving. Oh, man. I've had people jerk say... Jerk off that goes out there and runs over f people. Say the same stuff. Right? Oh, I've been doing this if for you years. Oh, boat, I know exactly what I'm doing. Don't say, even hey, worry about it. Oh, I can't drive how come boat. it's not starting? How come and it's not going in gear? How come this? You. How come that? All righty. Thank you. Yeah, hey, I completely Trey, understand where well, he's coming from. How's your morning going? That is VIP rough. VIP parking? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're parked. Just take a video. Yeah, that's the that same boat from earlier. It looked like they had bags on it. That is just on the ground. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, you know how it goes. Appreciate y'all stopping by and saying hi, watching the video, staying till the end. You know, if you feel like hitting them buttons, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. All that stuff. Um, you know, that's crazy. But like that last guy, that last guy who's talking about, if you come rent a boat for me, blah blah blah. You know, that is so true. Um, I I can talk to these people till I'm blue in the face, telling them, you know, hey. 
have you ever rented a boat before have you ever driven a boat before do you understand how things work like a lot uh the most common thing i have to tell people is if it's brown go around that means the water's shallow um gotta be a neutral gotta have the kill switch in for the boat to start um don't tell me you have a bunch of experience if you're gonna ask me 10 questions as soon as you try to leave and something doesn't work um, just listen to my spiel let me get through it you know by that time you should understand how this thing operates but it's it's crazy how many people are like yeah i've been boating for my whole life and uh i used to drive boats in the navy or i used to do this i used to do that and then turns out you don't know how to drive a simple uh rental boat which is the basics you know the basics but but yeah uh hopefully this uh video sounded a little bit better than the last one um can't do much about my voice you know i'm not trying to impersonate anybody but this is just how i sound so hopefully it's not too much for you uh, i'm gonna leave a link in the description for the video so if you want to watch it without me talking over it uh you're more than welcome to it's in the description um yeah so thank you very much i appreciate y'all have a great one peace